Conditional formatting is just like it sounds. It's applying a format, like a fill color, to a cell or a range of cells that you select based upon a condition or criteria that you define. For example, within this range, if I want to find all the cells that are greater than 500, you tell me which is easier to spot, the number, or color. Well, color draws me right to it. So if I can go ahead and customize and put a conditional format rule onto this range of cells that it has to be greater than 500 and say it's got to be filled in with red, select the range, come up here on the Home tab, go to the Styles group, click on the Conditional Formatting drop-down arrow, and then go to, well, you've got a lot down below, but let's keep it simple. I'm going to go to Highlight Cell Rules, come over here and say Greater Than, because it's got to be greater than 500. I can either type it in or find a cell that contains it and select it. And you can see the value here is 200, and automatically it highlights all those that are greater than 200. But I don't want that, so I'll go ahead and delete it and type in 500, and boom, there you go. It's going to be colored with light red fill with dark red text. But of course, if I don't like that, I can click on the drop down arrow and choose green fill with dark green text or do my own custom format, which really opens it up because it's not only based upon color. You can do the size of font, you can do the number formatting. If you want to be able to format those cells in a different type of number, currency, accounting, date, time, border fill, etc. Let's go ahead and click cancel and keep it simple. Let's do green fill with dark green text, click OK, click off in a blank area, and boom, my eyes are automatically drawn right to those cells that are colored. And let's see if it's right. Are these cells greater than 500? Of course. Now if I want to make a change to that conditional format, maybe choose a different color or just something altogether, you can do it one of two ways. First of all, you need to click within the uh, range that you have that conditional format applied to, or you can select the range because when you come up here and you click on conditional formatting and you go down to manage rules, you can see that the current selection, well, that we're within that uh, has the conditional format applied to, is seen down below. If I don't have a cell selected with, within that conditional format, click off in a blank area, and then try it again, conditional formatting to manage rules, it's not available. Unless, of course, because I don't have it here in the current selection, so if I want to see all the conditional formats applied within this worksheet, to this worksheet, select it, and there you go. You just have to scroll through and find the one, and there it is. Then click Edit, and go ahead and make the change. Greater than 500, maybe type in something else, or you can flip it around, do less than, equal to, or you can choose a different rule type. you got many to choose from here. Just select one, go down below, read a little bit about it, and see if that fits what you're looking for. Formats the values that rank in the top 10, or do the top 5. In fact, let's do, sure, top 10, click OK, click OK, and there are the top 10. Count them up, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. The highest numbers there. Go ahead and click in it. Conditional formatting, manage rules, current selection, double click to edit it. I mean, there are many other options. I'm going to go ahead and select format all cells based on their values. And down below, another option is the two color scale. I'm going to do three colors, which means that the lowest value within the range here is going to start off with red. You can see it in the preview. As it gets more towards the middle, maybe 500, 600, becomes more yellow. Then when it gets to the highest value or the higher values, the highest being, I think, 2,225, that will be the darkest green. Let's click OK and see what happens. Click OK and, yep, yeah, there we go. Deep red is the lowest value. Uh, dark green is the highest value and, and all the shades in between those two values. Now you can apply multiple condition formats to the same range. It's going to look a little crazy, but, I mean, this already is looking like a, a many colored quilted blanket of cells here, but Let's go ahead and select the same range and apply another conditional format. Click on the conditional formatting drop-down arrow, and let's go down to a new rule. And let's do format only cells that contain, and we're going to use the between value. We'll say between 500 and 800, and we'll choose the format. Click on the format button. Let's go to the font tab, and let's make them bold. And then click OK. Click OK again, and click off in a blank area, and there we go. So now we have two conditional formats or multiple conditional formats applied to the same range. Then, of course, if you want to get rid of one conditional formatting, you can manage your rules. If you're not in the current selection, again, do it for this worksheet. Select the one and then go ahead and delete it.
and then click OK. Gets rid of that. We still have the bold conditional format. Now I'm going to go down here and mess with a little bit of formatting here. As I mentioned in an earlier training video, you can go ahead and sort not only, well in this case by numbers here, um, from the largest number to the smallest, but you can sort by color. So maybe I want to go ahead and put all my reds together and my blues. To go ahead and sort, just come up here on the Home tab to the Editing group, click on the Sort and Filter drop-down arrow, and let's do a custom sort. First of all, what do I want to sort by? Click on the drop-down arrow. It's going to be column B because, well, what I want to sort by is in column B here. And then I don't want to sort on values. I want to sort on the cell color. And then what kind of colors do I want to sort by? Do I want blue on top or do I want pink on top? I'll keep blue on top. And then after it sorts it and it separates the two colors where blue is on top, then I want to add an additional level because when it's sorted by color within those colors, I want to do a sort from, let's say, smallest to largest. So let's go ahead and do column B. And there it is, smallest to largest. Click OK. There we go. Let's see if it works. It sorts. It's got the blue and then the red together. And then once it's got them grouped together, then let's see, smallest, 990 down to 1600 and from 789 to 975. Great. Of course, you can also filter by color. Again, Home tab to Editing Group, click Sort and Filter to Filter, and then click on the drop-down arrow, and we want to filter by color. I just want to see the pink. There we go. Thanks for watching. Hey, as a quick reminder, if you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. You can also click on me and subscribe to my channel to get notified of the latest videos, and for only $2 a month, you get online access to all my training. Or for downloads and DVDs, please visit me at dreamforce.us.